Okay, today we're going to be looking at the Venturi effect, which is the reduction in fluid pressure that results when a fluid flows through a constricted section or choke of a pipe. The Venturi effect is named after Giovanni Battista Venturi, an Italian physicist. Um, well, basically today, obviously from what I've put on screen, um, I'm going to be uh, comparing a magnetic field to a Venturi effect. And so basically I'm just going to put up pictures on screen um, from ice magnets and ice rockets to uh, space phenomena and I've just shown in my full immersion um, halo wave magnetic field viewer that there are different um, energy travel into both ends of the field. One is a a vortex in and then it is a flower of life out which is kind of like another vortex but it's an inverted vortex. Um, but basically all magnets are making use of the Venturi effect and are passing energy from one side to the other. One side of the magnet around the inertial line and then out of the other. But electricity is blasting through the center of the magnet. It is only the electromagnetism that goes around but again both of them are electricity and electromagnetism at the same time because electricity uh, through matter causes electromagnetism and electromagnetism through matter causes electricity so it's always a cascade event of electricity and electromagnetism so basically I'm just going to put up the pictures because I can't explain it any better than this really but energy is blasting through an inertial plane that is created by a magnet this says it is water flow all I can say is that is it is electricity flow through a Venturi tube because the universe is electric and God is electricity and from that comes electromagnetism and vice versa. This was a small demonstration of a magnet and as you can see we have the rocket at the bottom on the right hand side but a glass of water um, without a magnet in it will do exactly the same thing because the Earth's atmosphere is comprised of electro and electric electrical magnetic levels and so it must perform a Venturi action to get between the levels which is what the glass on the water on the left is doing. We still have the dome at the top and the rocket at the bottom but the whole field is spread out throughout all of it. This is because there is billions of levels in the atmosphere and so it must go from a expulsion A to an impulsion V to an expulsion A to an impulsion V with an Ouroboros torus field in between all of those connections and that is just that's it expulsion A to impulsion V or impulsion V to Ouroboros to expulsion A to impulsion V to Ouroboros to expulsion A it's fractal that's all you need to know look at my past videos and you will see the shapes but basically um, every atom every magnet is a Venturi tube and they are either passing something through it or pulling something from it whether it be matter or whatever that's contained around it so let's have a look at the pictures just before we do that though I want to go through this um, which is supposedly the uh, electromagnetic field or a magnetic field um, obviously I've shown on video that this is not true magnets do not do this they are not reciprocating like the one on the top left there on the the second one in Magnets don't do that. They go in at the inertia line, as I've said. So all of this you can forget as garbage because it doesn't do that. I've shown on video that it goes into the inertia line around the planet or the magnet and then flares out the other side. So now we're going to have a look at a couple of uh, um, pictures that I've drawn and I'll try to explain so you have a better understanding of, uh, of what we're all supposed to be looking at. Okay, so this is what I have uh, always been drawing for gosh knows how many uh, years now. Um, but I've been able to actually, because I've been able to see the magnet, I can now draw it around the shape that it's what it's actually doing. So we've got the one on the left there, you've got the big old magnet in the center. Energy comes down, spins out into a, uh, in a Fibonacci spiral, spins out to the edges. Um, obviously that's an exaggerated depth on a magnet. Um, but it curves all the way around to the opposite side and meets at the edge 
before it escapes the bottom of the magnet and when it comes out it's like the A shape on the little uh, right hand side of the left hand picture there um, it says an A shape um, and there's other information on there but that's the focus of travel the picture on the right if you see the two hearts linked together at the bottom there in the middle that's exactly what it is doing it is coming into the Fibonacci swirls in the top heart but then it is leaving via the bottom of the heart into the Fibonacci swirls as it goes through the inertia line the little heartbeat in between there is the electricity and on the right hand side there I've got um, an electrical heartbeat if you double that up then you get a double helix sash uh, that Jesus will be wearing um, at the marriage ceremony so other than that though this is uh, travel around a magnet and I really couldn't have made it any plainer I've got arrows and everything going around there uh, this little paper was uh, showing the atmospheric electrical electromagnetic levels and this is what I was speaking about with Venturi tube that it must do this between every single layer of the atmosphere whether it be electrical um, atom size molecule size cloud size or planet size it is doing this in and out to infinity energy up and down goes across a crossover point I mean you can see the two different uh, fields that I've drawn you've got an impulsion V to an expulsion A and it has to do that between every magnetic layer that there is on a magnet on the Sun in a black hole on this planet everywhere this is how it works this is how simple it is which is also at the top there you can see it looks like a waveform it looks like a DNA strand because that's how energy powers DNA it goes through it in an impulsion V to expulsion A expulsion A to impulsion V to Ouroboros to expulsion A between impulsion V and expulsion A there is always an Ouroboros you just link them all together and you get the shapes that I've got on there which is the thunderbolts and plants and mushroom clouds and everything and it's all phi and pi to uh, I've worked it out it might be the other way around I'm not 100% certain but I know these are all the things that we use so now we're just going to look at a few space pictures after you've seen all this which has been worked out directly from imaging a magnet in a halo wave full immersion magnetic field viewer so I know what the shape is now and where it's coming out of uh, so yeah let's have a look at some space pictures and you tell me if it's a magnetic field as they've described or is their description of a magnetic field a lie and everything actually is a magnet they've said it isn't a magnet and isn't electrical because of its shape and they gave you a toroid a torus which is completely wrong I've shown you the true meaning of magnetic flow it's a venturi tube so I have ob my observational evidence fits my theory whereas theirs is rubbish because their magnets aren't real the field that their magnets are showing so there we go and this is just more doodles of what it should be doing and as you can see it kind of looks like a carousel which kind of goes up and down and round and round isn't that a bit of an invention so yep yeah, but we all know the shape it's like a rocket a venturi tube thanks very much my name is Lee and I follow the Christ Jesus and his commandments and his teachings and he showed me all this in visions in 2014 for three weeks and I spent three years getting to this point of being able to show you exactly what I've been drawing heart to heart Fibonacci spirals all energy travel so what you have to ask yourself is this they don't believe in magnetism mainstream science and electricity in space because it doesn't correspond to their picture of magnetic fields I have completely proven that reciprocating magnets are a pile of rubbish and it doesn't do that it's a venturi tube so you can look at these pictures where scientists are dumbfounded and confused and ooh, they don't know what's going on or you can look at my impulsion expulsion venturi tube magnet field and decide if what you're seeing is electrical and electromagnetic or if it's gravity which has never been explained gravity is electric obviously attraction or impulsion I should say um, so yeah these are all Venturi tubes and I've shown that it's impulsion V to expulsion A but they both move matter either in one direction or in opposite directions so that doesn't tell you anything but I've shown the rotation of travel in both fields through a magnet again another Venturi tube and in the center there is always an Ouroboros torus field which is what changes it from an impulsion V to an expulsion A and flips it 
and inverts it. And I can say one thing for definite. If the universe is electrical and electromagnetic, and stars are magnetic, and atoms are magnetic, all these stars are doing exactly the same as all atoms. They are all moving energy by Venturi tube effect. Thanks very much. Bye.